Sarah Calvo bringing you your daily renewal. Today we are joined by licensed counselor, hypnotherapist, and group facilitator Raina Calvo. She is sharing her insights in holistic self-care. Thank you, Claire, for inviting me to share some of my ideas on how we can best utilize this time. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to emphasize that our physical, mental, emotional safety is most important. So remember to remind yourself that you matter. Your feelings matter and where you place your mental focus matters. Secondly, know that um, especially during this, these uncertain times, it's going to be absolutely normal to be experiencing a full range of varying emotions. Um, that could be constantly changing. Perhaps one moment you're feeling sad, another moment angry and frustrated, and then you're laughing the next moment. Our emotions are constantly changing like a river. Um, so just honor what you're feeling, um, allow it to come up and to be released, uh, but also recognize that our feelings inform us of what thoughts we are entertaining. So if... Um, if I imagine the worst possible scenario in my mind, then I'm most likely going to feel, bring up feelings of worry and anger and frustration and fear. Um, if I imagine what the po best possible scenarios that can come out of this situation, it's going to bring up feelings of perhaps hope, um, inspiration, enthusiasm. So really, um, there is an opportunity to practice the exercise of our mental focus. Um, I'd also suggest being extra compassionate and patient with ourselves and others. Um, secondly, I think we are all creatures of habit. So keep a regular schedule. Set up routines that keep you, keep you healthy, mind, body, and spirit. What physical exercises could you do to stay healthy? Now there are yoga, cardio classes online, um, or if not, you don't have access to that, turn on dance music that uplifts you, just dance in your, in your home, um, or wear a mask and go outdoors uh, around your neighborhood. Uh, what mental and emotional exercises could you be doing to stay healthy? Perhaps read a good, inspiring book, um, learn a new skill, writing a gratitude list every night. Those are some mental, emotional exercises you can be doing. And socially, maybe set up virtual calls with friends and share your ideas. Um, give each other daily reports on highlights of your day or um, start a challenge of random acts of kindness. Yes, we're social creatures and stay connected with friends and, and family and loved ones. Um, but what to me is important also is staying connected to my inner guidance. Staying, using this time to strengthen and cultivate my relationship with God. You might say higher power, higher self, nature. What is it that feeds your soul, your spirit? So ask yourself, you know, what things can you do to strengthen your faith? So you, again, during this time, you get to choose how you will make the most of this historical moment in time. And remember that where you put your focus matters for it's going to influence your emotions. And what you feel, the emotions matter, for it often drives your behavior. And what you do matters for it can positively or negatively impact you and the lives around you. Bottom line is, you matter. There is no one exactly like you. So celebrate that with people who see the gift that you are. I just wish you all well, mind, body, spirit. Uh, stay safe. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time on your daily renewal.